Bob has had a career in live theater. He's a stage manager, he's a professional director, and I, I'm an actor, and I wanted to know if he was also an actor because he's very um, energetic and expressive, and I thought maybe we could act together one day. And he said, no, I'm a director because I'd rather tell actors what to do. <laughs> so I got out of his way. Bob holds a Bachelor of Arts in Theater from Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo. He's worked professionally as both a production stage manager and a director before moving to Laramie in 1999. Bob has spent the past eight years working for ARC Regional Services, where he does fundraising, staff training, and public relations. His title today, oh my goodness, this might be why we're all here. His title today is called Changing the World. Please welcome Bob Sell. That is an overused quote. <laughs> it's everywhere. I mean, it's everywhere. You see it on t-shirts and bumper stickers and billboards, and you see it all over Facebook. I mean, it's a great quote, but every time I see it, I have to say to myself, can I be the change I wish to see in the world? I mean, can, can one person truly change the world? I don't know. I mean, I, I suppose I could travel to some far-off land and I could learn about their culture and then I could try to help them in some way, like dig a well or help build a school, but, you know, that'd be great, but that's just not me. I'm not going to do that. I, I could go back to school and, and choose a different career. I could become a doctor or a, a teacher or a social worker or, you know, one of those great professions that are always helping people. I mean, I love those guys. I'd love to do that, but it's, you know, I kind of like my job and and I don't want to go back to school, so I, I could continue to do what I'm doing now. I could volunteer. I could coach youth soccer. I could join a civic organization. I could, you know, donate to the United Way, which all of you should do, donate to the United Way. But it doesn't seem big enough. I mean, those are great things, but to, you know, we're talking changing the world. So, I mean, that has to be huge, monumental. It has to be life-altering. It has to change future generations. Huh. You know, there are five million people in this country with an intellectual or developmental disability. And they all want what you and I want. They want independence, they want a good job, they want to have quality, healthy relationships, and they want to be a part of a community. But our approach to supporting people with intellectual and developmental disabilities has been acceptance and inclusion. And that's great, and it, it improves people's quality of life, but if we really want to change the world, We've got to stop working towards acceptance and inclusion. I mean, that's not going to change the world. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to change the world. And if we want to change the world, we have got to start valuing people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We've got to see their worth, their skills, their abilities, their contributions. We've got to value them as people. And I know what you're all saying. I already do that, Bob. But do you? I mean, really? Because there is a huge difference between acceptance and inclusion and truly valuing people. And I want you to think about a time where you've met somebody with an intellectual or developmental disability. And, and what was your reaction? Were you welcoming and inviting and helpful and caring and understanding? Or were you a little uncomfortable? Were you maybe a little scared? Maybe you were full of pity. Maybe you just wished they would go away, and maybe you wished you could go away. And I gotta say, these are all fine reactions. There's no problem, it's, it's a real, true, honest reaction, and that's fine. But what we really care about is are you happy that they're there? Do you, are you excited that they're part of your community? Is the world a better place because they're in it? Do we truly value them as people? And not special people. we got to stop doing that. I know a lot of people with developmental disabilities, and i got to tell you, not all of them are special. <laughs> but they are people, and we have to treat them as people first. You, you got to be a person before you can be a special person. And so I do have an opportunity for you. So if you want to see this in action, if you really want to see valuing in action, I would encourage you to join us tomorrow night at the Cooper Center for Creative Arts. There's going to be an event tomorrow night that is going to see people being valued. You're going to see 
people with disabilities being valued for their contribution to the arts, you will see artists, not artists with disabilities. Okay. So here we are. So if we can truly value people, I mean, honestly and truly value people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, then they will be accepted. And they will be included. And the accommodations and supports that they need will be provided. So if you can leave this theater tonight and you can say to yourself, I am going to truly value people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, then you will change the world. Thank you.